Oh, I just got dropped back off at the trail here. I'm at Rabbit Ears Pass. 65 miles to Wyoming. Onward. Well, Steamboat Springs wasn't one of my favorite town stops in Colorado. With a population of 13,000, it's the largest uh, town on trail yet. It was really spread out and touristy, and it just lacked the small town charm that many of the other CDT town stops had, even if they were touristy too. Steamboat did have a Walmart, but it was some sort of limited stock store. Many of the normal items I'd buy from a Walmart just didn't exist there. They didn't even sell men's hats. So needless to say, I'm still rocking the bandana for sun protection. I ordered a new hat though back in Grand Lake and it should be an encampment when I arrive. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's been the typical rain you get every day, just a little sprinkle like this. Very rarely have I gotten actual rain. So a lot of these intersections don't even have uh, markings for the CDT. They might mark another trail, but not the CDT. At least somebody's been marking them here with magic marker, so. Thanks, bud. Another porcupine right there. While I was in Steamboat Springs, I was able to send pictures of the bubble in my air mattress to Thermarest. They're sending a new pad to Lander. So that's good news, but it's still three towns away. But I gotta say, I slept so much better on this air mattress than the foam pad I was using up to Ghost Ranch. I figured the desert would be too thorny for an inflatable and just opted for the foam pad instead. No regrets there, but it definitely came at the cost of quality sleep. Speaking of sleep, I think it's about that time for me. I've just entered the Mount Circle Wilderness. I haven't heard much about it other than a couple of hikers saying it was nice. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Wow, this area is pretty awesome. To be honest, I wasn't expecting so much above treeline hiking, but hey, I'll take it. One thing I've noticed throughout this hike is that I've been using my trekking poles less and less. I almost never use them now, maybe to help cross the stream, but even then I just look for a stick these days. I can't get rid of them because they support my tent, so they're still there for those few times I feel like taking my pack off to get them, I guess. So one fun fact about my CDT hike, I haven't had a fire yet. Both New Mexico and Colorado are having really dry years. Both states have ongoing fire bans. And to be honest, I rarely feel like I have time or desire for a fire anyways. It would be nice to have the option. And as far as I know, Wyoming is fair game. So we'll see about that. This is the uh, trailhead for the Mount Zirkel Wilderness, and it's empty. So it's all mine tonight. Well, today is day 89, and it's a milestone day because I'll be crossing into Wyoming this afternoon. 
Well, that's a big pile of bear shit. And it's actually fresh. That's literally the first pile of bear shit I think I've seen in Colorado. At least the first fresh pile. Let's see if I can cross this one without getting my feet wet. All right, success. I'll be in Wyoming in a few hours, so this is probably one of the last distant views of Colorado. I'm about a half a mile from uh, Wyoming, from the border, and I was in desperate need of water. And there wasn't going to be any water for a while, so I bushwhacked downhill and I found this little um, spring filtered three liters and man what a difference that makes getting uh, the water you need would you look at that here's Wyoming woohoo Wyoming another state under the belt so I'm about halfway done now feels like I've been walking forever and I'm only halfway done well, even though it's not the uh, biggest monument, it's still light years ahead of the uh, New Mexico-Colorado border, which was just a barbed wire fence. And look what some of these industrious CDT hikers have built. A nice line here, Wyoming, Colorado, 1,500 miles. I think I'm more like 1,420 the route I took, but still about halfway for me. Well, I gotta pee, and there's only one thing to do when you're at the border of two states. And that's pee into two different states at the same time. A little bit for Colorado, and a little bit for Wyoming. Let's see what Wyoming's all about. that new state smell. Goodbye, Colorado. We're done with you. Oh, here's yet another porcupine. Right before bedtime, too soggy ass field now my feet are soaking wet and all muddy god damn it <laughs> look at that crap so i learned a neat trick this morning if you're alone on trail and wanting to run into other hikers simply take a dump within sight of the trail and poof a hiker is guaranteed to appear pro tip Last night when I was lying in bed, there was a loud explosion not all that far away. It was dead silent after. I, it definitely wasn't a gunshot. I was holding out hope it was the Wyoming Welcome Committee coming to bring me a cheeseburger, but that never happened. All 
right, there's a battle pass down there that'll take me into encampment. But somebody built this nice box for us CDT hikers, which is full of goodies. I mean, I don't really need any water or anything. I'm going into town. OSHA root, sunscreen, ooh, tampons, clothes, cricket. I'll take the Bing cherry juice. Battle pass. I've heard this doesn't get a lot of traffic, so it might be a tough hitch. <laughs> it's pretty dead already. The town of Encampment only has 59 people, I believe. And now we wait. Hopefully I get some traffic soon. Yeah, it looks like I got an hour before the post office closes. <laughs>